When you've come out of your cold approach interactions, have you ever found yourself thinking about what you did right, what you did wrong, and what you could have done differently? Now, don't get me wrong. I think it's great that men are analyzing their interactions and they're thinking about what could they do better in their conversations going forward in the future. But a problem that does occur is that guys overthink every approach that they're doing and I think it gets them a little bit caught up in their head and causes anxiety as they start to think of every approach that they're doing a bit too strategically. Now when you're going into a a conversation with someone new you have to expect that every conversation that you have is going to be very different to the next. Now, if you're starting to think more strategically, so if you're analyzing every approach and you're going, right, I have to say this answer next time, or I have to say that, then you're going to take away that naturalness of a conversation. You're not going to actively listen to her or to anyone if you're talking to someone and then as soon as they say something, you think, I have to say this. So by not actively listening to what a woman is saying and then reacting in a way that's suitable to that conversation with a more appropriate a question or a statement, then you're going to lose that level of naturalness. Now, I see this a lot, I think more so with beginners than anything, where they've watched their favorite coaches on YouTube, they've heard some lines or routines been heard, or something that's part of that coach's personality, and they've tried to adopt it for themselves. So they're constantly thinking about all these lines and routines that that coach has said, And so as soon as they get into their interactions, they think they have to say X, Y, and Z, and they'll get this kind of result. And then the interactions go terribly wrong or don't go the way that they were hoping for. And then by overanalyzing that interaction, they can start creating a lot of limiting beliefs that, oh, well, it worked for them. It doesn't work for me. I must be doing it wrong. I'm a failure and all this. And that's not necessarily the case. By not listening to what a stranger is saying, you aren't, again, reacting appropriately to what they're saying. So if you're overanalyzing your interactions, first of all, I think you need to limit it. Now, by limiting this, it means that you're going to take away this thought process of every conversation has to be done in a certain way. And you're going to be more present in every conversation that you have thereafter because you're thinking more about this mindset or concept of, let me just go and talk to people. Let's see what happens. Now, does that mean that you should remove analyzing completely? Absolutely not. But I don't think it's appropriate to be analyzing every approach that you do straight afterwards. Instead, just write down any notes that you want to to think about later on and save all of your analyzing until the end of your session or the end of the day. So when you're doing that, it means then that you're kind of in a different switch off mode or you're in a mode where you're quite happy to to sit and learn and absorb new feedback that you've been getting either from yourself or maybe from people that you're spending time with. So overanalyzing for yourself can be a bit detrimental in making sure that you stay present when you're talking to people. So if you are struggling with this and if you are overanalyzing every interaction, just try and keep this at bay. Otherwise, maybe working with a coach or a therapist can help to train you in just keeping this at a more sophisticated level that isn't going to cause you to over judge yourself and not be too harsh as well. You need to learn to be your own friend here. And the best way to do that is just by saving all of your um, your analyzing at the end of the day and then thinking back, what did I do right? What did I do wrong? And in fact, this collection of feedback that you will get at that point will make more sense because you've got more experience that's taken place here. 
you can say, okay, well, this happened five or six times today. So I can say, yes, I do need to change that. Going from just one interaction and then the next interaction and just thinking, oh, I have to do this differently and then this differently, you're not getting in it as many... I don't know if variables is probably the right word, but you're not getting enough of a correlation. That's the word I'm looking for. You're not getting enough uh, feedback to tell you if what you're doing is right or wrong. But just try and actively listen. That's the important thing. And I can assure you, you won't need to be analyzing your conversations. So I hope you can take this on board and I'd love to know your thoughts on how this works for you. Are you someone who is a bit too over analytical in your interactions and what are you doing about it to prevent it? Now, if you are struggling, I am a life coach and I can help people with holding them accountable as well as being able to just coach them out of this kind of circumstance as well because it's more of a bad habit than anything so if that's of interest to you have a look in the description below at my website and uh, absolutely I would love to hear from you even if we're just having uh, a quick chat just to find out where you're at and maybe what kind of direction I can steer you on um, if you're thinking about even working with a dating coach as well so Thank you very much for watching, like and subscribe and look forward to more videos coming from me in the near future.